All of the great saints and all of the great acharyas throughout time told us faith. Not blind faith, but real, substantial faith. Through this faith, we can see, we could hear, we could feel the divine within ourselves, within every other living being, and within everything that exists. And where does that faith come from? It's within our hearts, but it is awakened when we associate with saintly people who have that faith. Now, some people think that faith is inferior to what we call science. But every scientist has faith. No one lives even a moment without faith, even unconsciously. Every time we breathe, there's an unconscious faith in us that by my inhalation, it's going to nourish me with oxygen. Yes? And even the most common things in life. You came here, you had faith, you would arrive. Factually, many people don't arrive. Every time you drive in the car, you have faith that you'll live to your next destination. And the scientists have faith in other scientists and what they had discovered. At one time, people thought the world was flat. They had faith in their scientists then. Then it was proven that the world was round. So now we have faith in that. Mahatma Gandhi, how many of you met him? How many don't believe he ever existed? He's just mythology. You have faith, but you never saw him. You never touched him. But you have faith in people who saw him, and you have faith in books. So everybody has faith. Science is based on faith also. But to go beyond the limitations of the mind, the intelligence, and the ego, and of course the senses, there has to be a different kind of faith. A faith in the example and the lives of the great souls. Time and again, Krishna explains that he manifests within this world especially through the hearts and the lives of those who love him. Krishna is searching for his lost love, you, and revealing himself through the scriptures and through the saintly people. Therefore it is said, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastakoi, Lava Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhihoi. Even a moment's association with a person who really loves the divine is more precious than anything else in creation because it can awaken that hope, hope in the infinite love of God. It can awaken that faith which is preliminary to actually follow the paths that God has given us for enlightenment. You are listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.